Hey, this is Josh for CG Monastery, and this is uh, part two of our introduction to our, our rigs. And to, on this video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Miss Animate, which is our UI for using our rigs. Uh, so you can access it via the top menu. You go to uh, Miss and then Miss Animate. That's going to pop up on my other monitor, of course, and then here we are. So um, you can also dock this, so I can dock it over here if I want. And um, I'll just do that for now. So let's talk about context. Um, so the power of, of this system is, is, is context. And, and what that means is when we select something, um, things are wired in a way that with our UI, we can access the entire character, or as we call them, the entire puppet. So I have uh, just this one control selected if I want to reset the, uh, the, the puppet. I can just go reset all, and that's going to reset my whole puppet. And uh, so that is puppet mode. So when I have this context on puppet, any control that I select is going to be working on the, the whole character. So if I have um, just put a couple of things going here. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffles. I got a little cold. Um, so if I want to reset, I can do that. I just showed you that. If I want to select all the controls, I can do that. So I can select all the controls and just select all the controls of the puppet. Um, so let's go ahead and just work through here and we'll work our way down. So control context is just that control. Uh, part context is the part itself. So for example, on the arm, if I have this arm selected, um, and if I have a part context and I say uh, select, it's going to select just the parts of that arm. I have children selected here, so it's getting my fingers as well. But if I turn that off, it is just going to do that arm. Um, then I have, let's see, our puppet we talked about in scenes when you have multiple puppets. This is in testing still. Uh, but if you have multiple puppets referenced, in theory, this should work. But I haven't done a lot of testing on it yet. On our options, we have our children, siblings, and mirror. And so what that means is if I... Um, so say I wanted to to reset, uh, actually this is a key. So I want to key this part. I'm in the puppet mode, it's going to key the whole puppet. Let me delete that. Go back to part. And say I want to key uh, here. So you'll say see that this, uh, this control is keyed, this control is keyed, this control is not, this control is not, and my fingers shouldn't be either. However, if I have part and children selected and then I key, it should key this arm and also my fingers because they're children of this, um, this part. So if I look at the character, I have um, the spine is a part, the left leg is a part, the right leg is a part, the right arm, the left arm, the head and neck, and each finger is a part as well. Uh, so when you're working with a part, um, you're working with just that. So this is my arm. So if I wanted to, um, if I have mirror selected, and then I say select all, it's going to select also the mirror um, parts. So it's going to grab the, the right arm as well. And so if I reset those, it would reset all those controls in that context. Um, so that's, and so we got, uh, so this is the jump keys. So you can jump uh, keys in context. Let me go back. Oop. So it's going to just jump to the next available key. I didn't make that so it resets at the end of it to go back to the start, maybe. Um, you can delete keys. You can report your context within the script editor. will tell you, um, give you a report of what's in your context. Let me see if I can pop that up real quick. So this is my contextual report. Here's my nodes. Got them listed out. I've got 196 controls in context. All right, the, uh, oh, uh, so selection. So if I'm in this part and I just wanted to select the uh, FK controls, I could do that. Uh, I could just select FK, or I could just select IK, or the IK ends with the segment controls or direct controls or all. Same with reset. Uh, the pose library is currently working for me, but crashing on Boxer. So stay out of, or use this at your own uh, behest and warning. Um, I'm working on that. 
And another thing I'm going to add, so this last pass when I was doing the uh, the facial build in October, um, I added some some uh, wiring so that I'm going to add an option here for face. You'll be able to have the face in whatever context you're working with or out of context. So um, you may see an update soon where there'll be a new option for face, and I'm probably just going to make it a check mark box. It'll probably be on by default. Um, let's see, we have our tween, so everyone knows what a tween is, um, I would think. So I'm in part, so I can average my, my pose, or I can... So a lot of this uses um, Morgan Loomis's uh, calls, which he, he used with permission, and they're great. Um, so if I want to drag that, I can drag that in the viewport. And then if I want to have overshoot, let's control, maybe it's shift. So, yeah, it's shift. Shift is overshoot. Um, let's see. You can also reset. This is a little slow. I need to re retool this some because it's a little bit slow, but it goes back to defaults for the, the stuff. Um, hold some of Morgan Loomis's calls, and again, they work in context. So a lot of this stuff is just adding the functionality, the contextual um, selection to calls we use for other stuff that are really handy. So let's get to mirror. So if I wanted to, uh, to flip this pose, I can, so I can push this to the other side. That looks great, so good. Or I can uh, pull that. From the other side. So again, it's, it's basing this, it's, its functionality off of the selection. So I have a left control selected, so that is my prime axis, so that's how the push and pull works. I can flip the pose. So it's going to flip it. And so the mirroring stuff is actually using Red 9's uh, calls. Uh, so Red Red 9's um, tools are, are, are included as well in the CTM toolbox. Um, so that functionality is there. Um, I use Mark's um, meta class as my base class for all the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and his theories and wiring things is all over how we do things with, um, with MISS and with all of our stuff. So shout out to Mark and those guys and gals at Red9. Let's see, sim left, sim right. So you can symmetrize the left or right side. Uh, you can select. Let's see, switching. So if I wanted to say switch my pose for my arm from FK to IK, I can say I want IK snap. Oh, I got both arms going. No, I don't. But so this is a good lesson. So I had my children selected, so it's it snapped all of my my fingers to uh, uh, IK as well. So I'm just going to put all these back to FK, and I can just say I want these to be FK on. And I'm going to turn off children, so I'm just working with this. Um, there is some, so because we have FK unlocked sometimes, your snap isn't perfect. So if I go back to um, FK on on the arm, and you know if I move the arm over here, and then I see my IK snap, it's not going to quite be right which isn't great. So there's a mode where actually I use the uh, segment handles to, to force it. So if I go back to FK on, then I can force, um, it's actually gonna turn on and, and move my direct handles to match. So you can't get an exact match, but it, you're introducing um, direct controls to it. And that was just the best way I could figure out to do it at this time. I'm happy to, to relook at it later. Um, let's go ahead and reset that arm again. And let's see, aim is on the head. So if I have the head and I want to um, uh, go to the IK, that's IK mode, let's see, aim, snap, there we go. So it's gonna snap my head. And so if I like this and I want this to be my, in FK mode, it's going to aim it there and, and, and be an FK. Let's see, all the FKIK snapping should work with all the modules, uh, spine, tails, 
everything. Um, oh, this is handy. So if you're working with your puppet, you can easily turn on and off things. So that's, this is what I was saying in the last video. So if I want to turn on, um, let's see, nothing in context. So select something and I can show my subs and I've got an error that's still working. It's because of my, my head stuff. It's okay. I'll fix that bug. But it's still working. Um, so it turned on all my, my, uh, my sub controls over the whole um, puppet. Um, it also works in context. So if I turn these off and then wanted to just show the arm um, and children sub controls, I can do that and see. Let's see. A bug. I should have only done the arms, so I'll add that to my list of bugs. And so our our misanimate UI is, is currently testing. We're, we're we've been fleshing it out over the last few months. It's not done. And as we add features to this, um, as you open your rig and you open the, the UI, you're going to have more and more options available. There's ideas we have, like I said, with face stuff. There's some other stuff I want to do with uh, con the context of time, so you can snap FKIK over time and do actually all these features over time, which I'm going to, it's on my list of things to do. Um, let's go back to the sub hive. Yeah, so this direct is the same thing. Um, oh, is that why? Was I in? Sometimes my brain doesn't work so hot. Yeah, I was just in the context of pup earlier. It's not a bug, it's just user error. I was being not smart. Okay, uh, so we can do our, our directs. Make sure direct controls, so there you go. Uh, we can do our viz roots. Uh, I don't have any selected viz roots. And then they're gonna show up. Go back to puppet, hide all that, hide all that, hide all that. Uh, skeletons, the same thing in our puppet mode, we can, um, so there's a skeleton. So I can turn it off, uh, lock it, or turn it off or on. And geo, I don't know if I have this in the right geo folder. No, I don't have the geo folder. Or not geo folder, but group. Anyway, uh, and then I have my proxies. If I want to turn on my proxies, I usually turn on with a lock, and you can see the, uh, the proxy. And if I go back to my channel editor and turn off mesh display, you'll see our, our proxy asset. Um, which can be faster uh, when you're just looking around and playing around with stuff. Um, I think that's it for this overview. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, so another thing we do, I should have was talking about a little bit with um, the last video. We have um, space, space options. So you can actually, uh, so if I want to change this to a different space, I can do it here. So if I want to change this to the cog, so now this, this splits in the cog space, or I can change it um, to whatever I want, back to world. But this is also contextual. I can do this multiple. So if I have this selected and this selected, and they both have options, I can do a multi-change space, and the UI will actually um, find common options, or I can do each one. Um, so it's the same. It's the same uh, call. I just use it multiple places. It's um, factored so I can, or refactor, I should say, so I can do it in different places. And the same thing with the arm. So if I put this arm uh, to IK mode, oh, I'm in puppet. Josh, that was silly. Okay, anyway, it's fine. Um, I just put everything in IK. But, um, yeah, so if I have this selected and this selected and this selected, you'll see that the options that, there's not that many options in common, but the ones that are in common will show up. And so I can change all of those to uh, puppet space if I want. And so now so they're not gonna follow the cog. Uh, they're gonna follow the um, the puppet. So what puppet is? Puppet is the master control. World space is actually world space, so it doesn't follow anything. So if you're in world space, that's what that's doing. Um, I do have some other few things I'll hit real quick. So we have um, our snapping. Um, and maybe I'll just save this for another video. Yeah, this is getting long. I'll save it for another video.
Um, that's what I got. Uh, so if I, again, if I want to reset the rig, I just go to Puppet, and then uh, Reset All, and my Puppet's back to uh, default. So uh, there we go. Intro to Miss Animate as of November 26, 2018. I'm sure it will change again soon with more features and bug fixes. Thanks.